We want to leave the modern world behind and step back in time. Shawneetown 1929 has a completely new look that will be celebrated at a grand opening this weekend. Charlie Potler is the director of the Shawnee Town 1929 Museum. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. All right, now the sh this uh, the museum is being rebranded. Why mm -hmm. did you want to focus on the 1920s? The 1920s is really the time when Shawnee was put on the map because mm -hmm. we had only a town of 550 people, but there were 154 truck farms in that small community. So a lot of people, most people, were growing vegetables and fruits to take to the Kansas City city market, and that's how Shawnee really became known as this truck farming, this great vegetable and fruit producing community. So uh, construction continues. You're, it does st you're continue. still building. Yes, for several more years, but we have reached a real critical juncture. Tomorrow we have our grand opening of our farmstead. Now you so, brought some really great examples of what people can see if they go out to visit your museum. Mm -hmm. What's this right here? A butter churn. And uh, you would put heavy whipping cream in there that would come directly from the cow's udder. And uh, after several minutes, it depends on the temperature outside and the temperature of the cream, then it would slowly turn to butter. So you're just doing that, out, n nothing refrigerated? <laughs> well, they did have refrigeration, but, but yeah, that is created without a refrigeration process. There you go. Now we've got a bell here, and this is for when folks are not so good, When right? they're being naughty, yeah. <laughs> this is the bell that will go on the town jail mm. in Shawnee. And uh, do you want to ring it? So sure, can. can I? How does it it's go? It's got great acoustics. Yeah. Just, uh, Show me how to do it. Yeah. We'll figure it out. There, there you go. go. That's when it's like, go back to your cell. You're in trouble. <laughs> right. Okay, this is pretty cool. This is uh, bef before all of the curling irons, crimpers that we have mm -hmm. now. Uh, would you put this you know, in a hot fire on the stove? And you would put it on the stove or in hot water, mm -hmm. and uh, it would heat, and then you would just put it right on your hair, and that's a crimper. A crimper. Because in the 20s, women bobbed their hair for mm -hmm. the first time. They cut it short, and then they would crimp uh, the ends, or they, if they wore their hair long, they would crimp it all the way down. This could be very dangerous as well, I'm saying. It could be. Yeah. <laughs> I've not used It'd properly. Your hair. Yeah, for sure. And then you have some other examples of, of pieces that people can find. Yeah, and these are some recipe books mm -hmm. that were available. We have a state uh, agricultural office in Manhattan that produced these, some of these cookbooks. But 1920s, uh, women had all kinds of options and a few men in the kitchen, uh, recipe books that they could follow that were very easy to follow. That's amazing. And it's, again, great for kids to get this hands-on experience and, exactly. see, and see what it was like in the 1920s. Well, the Shawneetown 1929 Farmstead Grand Opening, it's free and open to the public. It begins tomorrow morning at 10 and goes until 2 in the afternoon. Shawneetown 1929 is on West 57th Street in Shawnee. Thanks so much, Charlie, for stopping Thank you. by.